Hi, everyone. I'm so thrilled to have this opportunity to give this talk on ChaosCon 2021. Uh, so together with King, we will present the topic building metric models based on the state-of-the-art best practices. So as a student who has over two years of experience in open source, I will first talk about the characteristics of an excellent community combined with some of the best practices from the open source industry that I observed. And Kim will then uh, present a framework of open source communities based on chaos metrics and how to find how to find the connections to build metric models. Uh, so what are the characteristics of an excellent community? The first element is people. Uh, there is a classic onion model to describe roles in open source from a user to a contributor to a committer uh, and even became P become PM PMC leaders. Uh, we can simply look into the contributor and maintainers field. So many community will require contributors to sign a CLA or DCO. It's more of for the sake of uh, the community to avoid intellectual property conflicts when uh, contributing code. Um, and also during the, uh, during the community participation, the code of conduct should be clarified and be complied. And there are uh, some other social norms that are predefined um, because each community is like um, an independent village with, with its own uh, social culture uh, that requires contributors to do their homework first, um, to uh, learn the basic questions uh, in advance, like uh, the basic for uh, WWH questions, um, instead of just stumbling. Um, this also requires maintainers to take enough patience and responsibility. Um, the best practice here is the Apache way. Um, I, I list uh, some of the points um, about making the community based um, built on trust, trust and consensus um, by um, actually by summary, the people um, in a good community is um, respect and responsibility. Uh, people should, should show respect to each other, um, be responsible. And a core guiding, guiding, guiding principle here is uh, diversity and inclusion. Um, let's then look at the organization perspective. If we uh, divide, it, divide the community structure from uh, open or closed, and led by individual or led by company, uh, we, will, we will have a two-dimensional core drawn uh, with four governance types. So the Apache Foundation is an open and successful community uh, led by individual developers. Mm, the governance principle is uh, transparent and uh, meritocracy, uh, meritocracy, etc. cetera. Uh, while most of the contributors in CNCF comes from companies, um, company could lead the direction of the community while it's still openly governed by the foundation. Um, and the openness can be influenced by uh, the strategy of the company like Android, MongoDB, et cetera. They, allow users to participate it in uh, they allow users to participate in but the project is controlled by maintainers uh, who from the company um, and the structure also evolves as the community grows uh, like the picture um, on the right side uh, with a single project roles are simply contributors maintainers and owner um, and with multi-project to govern, to govern um, a technical committee as known as TLC will be set. Uh, with a certain number, with a certain number of projects, it become a foundation governed 
uh, model. And aside from TLC, now we also need user committee, marketing committee, et cetera. And now the foundation now is from the, um, always form a board, uh, a board of directors team to lead the strategy level of decisions. And the third characteristic is development. Um, the development workflow in open source is actually the agile model, um, release early and fast iteration. Um, so an efficient collaboration workflow and uh, even automate, uh, automation tools are important. Um, frequently occurred concepts here are DevOps, um, aka development and operation and, and to um, assure the quality in the same time um, and um, CICD develop um, continuous integration, continuous de delivery and continuous deployment. Um, let's now look at a project named Reproducible Builds. It's a set of software development um, practices that create an independent verifiable path from source to binary code. Um, the key words here are reproducible and verifiable. It's a part of the chain of trust by promising um, identical results are always generated from a given source. That is, you can always produce exactly the same binary code. It allows verification that uh, no vulnerabilities are introduced into the components. So open source component security is a critical topic during development. It stress on the process of releasing and delivery. Uh, like Fedora, um, the, rele the release engineering philosophy of Fedora is repeatable, auditable, uh, definable, and deliverable. So how do other practice um, do? How do they do when measuring the community? Um, we can see three examples. Apache, uh, Ap Apache look at it from community development and um, community governance. Um, community development where code uh, license and copyright uh, release version and quality are the elements that are highlighted. And um, community governance, where it looks at the community consensus and independence. And uh, CNCF divide, divide the maturity of projects to three levels, graduated, incubating, and sandbox. And this is voted by uh, CNCF TLC. And one of the, oh, sorry. Um, one of the basic um, requirement is to achieve uh, and maintain a CII best practice badge. Um, so how does the CII badge evaluate a project? Uh, it focuses on the, it, it focuses on the security perspective. Uh, looks at, look, looks at the, um, some basic elements like websites, uh, license and documentation uh, and change control, um, uh, the vulnerability and, and bugs, uh, quality and test and, and so on. So to have, an, uh, to have a conclusion, uh, we can see despite of different focus and dimensions, uh, the element and practice are highly overlapped actually. Um, it's why we need to integrate them in, uh, and raise them up as metrics. This is how I look at Kiosk. An open source community itself aiming for um, how to make a better community. So um, now King will talk about more uh, about a framework and metric models. Thanks to Xiaoya for sharing. I'm King from China. I will continue to share our insight based measurement framework for open source community and how metrics are connected to a form a model. 
and the support is framework. This is the first is our measurement framework, which is divided into four layers. I will analyze it from the bottom up. First, at the bottom is the awareness and culture of the community participating. Accident uh, participate uh, makes accident communities and accident projects, such as respecting others, talk to the chip, show me the code exact. Second, the middle is the behavior of the community's participants in the process of the governance, development, and the operation after they have good awareness and culture. There are five dimensions. At the, at the bottom is the base data information, including one person's metadata, which is when, who, and what information generated by the behavior of the community participant in the community as a common work group of the chaos community. At the top left is the content related to the governance of the community. It includes organizations, event process, and the specification. The effect of accident governance is more diversity and inclusive. And in the middle is how community development process and the operations, which can better support the development process and how community grows and evolve. The process of the development is the workflow of the Git. And at the end of the process is continuous improvement, which is the means of the chaos project. That's the meaning of the chaos project, to help the communities continuously improve from the behavior process and to the better future. Uh, third, on the up layer, there are accident characters of the products and the project produced by the community participants. Communities characters uh, of organization are open, transparent, diversity, and inclusive. Outstanding feature of the project is compliance, security, and the complete delivery. The content of this section is also relevant to the risk domain of the chaos metrics. The value present by the communities at the top, the value present by the business, the value of the organization, the value of the individual people, person, and the content of the value work group of the chaos is exactly the same all the process and the results in the big house are mirrored. The following slide shows the metrics that have been released by the current activity. I have drawn the chart of void. We can match the metrics on the previous slide page. It is a pleasure that the metrics uh, I, I contribute are also including uh, we also mentioned that the measurement is not the goal. It's aimed to continuously improve and build a more compliant security, diversity, and inclusive community, and involve more developers. The current indicators are quite complete, and we are constantly improving them. Too many indicators will bring problems. How should I look at them? Which indicators? So we need a model that make it easier for people to understand the health of the project. Before studying the model, we need to think about how the metrics are related to the model. There are some of my thoughts, which are welcome to discuss. We are looking for uh, links between the indicators and uh, I think about the four links. Uh, uh, chronologic inclusion, logic impact, and uh, no connection. The chronologic is easy to understand. It's uh, similar to the upstream and downstream process of the pipeline. In the follow example, uh, open issue should be followed by the issue comment. 
in, in, the inclusive inclusion relationship is that measurement period contains many small operation period. For example, a processing a period of the issue must include in the comment period and the label duration. The logic relationship is not a direct pipeline relationship. Instead, a metric change may bring another metric change. For example, the large number of the issue comments, the more different people may join them, community and comment, but only one person may comment. So it's possible consequence, but there may be strong or weak links. At the last ones, two metrics that have no relationship. At least uh, for now, we don't see any factor that affect each other, uh, such as license companies and the vulnerability pending. The simplest relationship in this is chronologic, uh, chronologic and inclusion. Based on this, uh, I tried it first. I just uh, participated in the chaos project and I found the simple Git workflow, simplest Git flow to do it. I think link linked the metrics that have been discussed in the issue and pre-request process. You can see the relationship between the outer and the inclusive. And uh, this is output was also contributed to the chaos. Then I thought about the relationship between the issue and request, which is that I did this year. Therefore, so the following model is created. I link the issue and appear through the indicators of the branch, like branch left circle. Because the request starts from the issue, no matter the issue is requirement, function, feature, or bugs, an issue should be open first. Then the pre-quest merge and the issue close. And purpose another metric position relate issue associated with the pre-quest. A complete Git development workflow model is generated. Now we are glad that we have established the metric model workgroup. We can explore more model together. There must be logic relationship in the metrics model workgroup. They are also very interesting. We welcome you to join the Magic Model Workgroup for discussing and uh, welcome more people to join the Chaos community. We will have a con conclusion of the idea together. I better appreciate the help from Chaos community and giving me this opportunity to share. I hope you can join it and we can grow with Chaos.